Shalom. Call Halal, Yahawa, Bahashim, Yahawa Shai, Bahasham, Raka Kwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity and risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you, I say Shalom. To the Akim and to the Akwath, that will be you brothers and sisters. Adawan Ratiza, that is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, You'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad. Back again with another lesson through the spirit and power of Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shai. To feed the lambs of Yahweh. Yahweh Shai. As commanded. This lesson today I'm going to entitle it. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of inequity? Okay. And this is um, from Psalms, the 94th chapter, the 16th verse. You know, the Lord is asking a question here. I'm going to read it again. Psalms 94 and verse 16. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Okay. So uh, with that being said, Hey Amen. The prophets of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? The men of, uh, 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 of the Lord. Okay? The Lord's servants. You know? Beginning with our forefathers. Okay? Moses. Okay? In the time of Moses. Okay? Moses rise up. Okay? The Lord sent uh, Moses unto Pharaoh, man. Okay, so the Lord uh, uh, could show his power and magnify his name in the earth. Okay, he sent Moses, okay, to tell Pharaoh to let my people go. Okay, uh, you know, King David, you know, Moses was a prophet, David was a prophet, you know, David was a mighty man, a warrior. Okay, leading in battles, you know, Joshua, you know, our forefathers, man. Again, who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Okay, the prophets, man, the servants of the Most High, Yahweh, Bashim, Yahweh, Shai. Okay. Those, those that are, 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 are doing the work and the will of the Lord, okay? Yahweh Shai, okay? When he walked the earth, okay? He stand for truth and right and righteousness, okay? Right? He was a prophet. He prophesied, okay? He stood up against the evil, okay? By speaking truth and righteousness, Okay? Right? And working uh, 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 miracles. Right? The prophets, man. The servants of the Lord. Again, who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Okay? Right? Jeremiah. Right? Jeremiah stood up. Okay? Right? And prophesied. Daniel, Habakkuk. Okay? Right? So the servants of the Lord, man, going out on the highways and the byways, making themselves a living sacrifice. Okay? Hazarding their lives for Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai's sake. Okay? The servants of the Lord, man. Alright? Um, let's get the book of um, let's get the book of um, Jeremiah it's the book of Jeremiah um, Jeremiah chapter 28 and verse 8 it says the prophets that have been before me and before thee of old prophesied about 
prophesied both against many countries and against great kingdoms of war and of evil and of pestilence. Okay, this is not nothing new, man. Okay, the Lord say, who's going to stand up for him? Okay, you're going to find that the prophets, man, they went out, okay, made their bodies live in sacrifice and hazarded their lives, man, okay, to stand up against evil, okay, to declare the words of the Lord, okay? How do, how do the Lord declare his words? Through his prophets, through his men, okay? I'm going to read the ninth verse. It says, The prophet which prophesied of peace, when the word of the prophet shall come to pass, then shall the prophet be known that the Lord had truly sent him. Okay? When you get Amos 3 and 7, it says, Surely the Lord will do nothing, but he reveal his secrets unto his servants, the prophets, man. Okay? He reveal his secrets unto his servants, the prophets. Right? And this is not nothing new, man, from ancient time. Okay? This is Luke chapter 1 and verse 70. Let me grab that real quick. It says, As he spake by the mouth of his holy prophets, which have been since the world began. So the most I the most I speak, the most I speak to his prophets, man. You see? And guess what? The prophets ain't gonna hold back, man. Okay? The prophets ain't gonna hold back. The prophets are gonna stand up. They're gonna do what they're told. Right? They're going to do what they're told. This is the book of Isaiah, the 58th chapter and verse 1. It says, cry aloud, spare not. Okay, we're not going to spare you your feelings. We're going to stand up. Lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgression and the house of Jacob their sins. Okay? All right? So we're not going to spare you your feelings, man. All right? We're going to do what the Lord said to do. Let's get uh, Isaiah chapter 62 and verse 6. It says, I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence, okay? And give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Okay? So, we're not going to keep silent, man. This word is going to cut. This this word is going to come out. All right, this word is going to come out. Okay, this is not going to be concealed. All right, this this word is not going to be concealed, man. All right. Um. This is the book of Revelation. Revelation chapter twenty-two and verse ten. It says, "And he said unto me, Seal not the sayings of the prophecy of this book." For the time is at hand. Okay, so we're not gonna seal this, man. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna bring this out. Okay, we're gonna let you know what the truth of the matter is according to the scriptures. Okay, because we sent unto you. Okay, whether you were here or whether you were forbear. All right, whether you were here or whether you would forbear. Okay, going back to the point. Right, the title of the lesson, uh, Psalms ninety-four. In verse 16, right, it says, Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Okay, that's the title of the lesson, man. You're going to find the prophets standing up. I'm going to jump up to verse 1 and then read down. It says, O Yahweh power, to whom vengeance belongeth, O power, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself, lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth, render a reward to the proud. Okay? Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? Okay? All right? And you know Job chapter 20. Let me grab it real quick. All right? Job chapter uh, 20 and verse 4. It says, Knowest thou not that this of old, since man was placed upon earth, that the triumphing of the wicked is short, and the joy of the hypocrite but for a moment? Okay? The joy of the hypocrite is but for a moment, man. Okay? All right? So going back to Psalms, right? Psalms 94. Okay? But the, the, the prophets the prophets are going to stand up, man. Okay? I'm going to continue to stand. All right? Until, until that spiritual power comes, man. Until our Lord returns. 
okay? The elect is going to keep that faith, man, okay, that Yahweh Shai is going to be looking for when he returns, all right? I don't want Rathaza, I'm a part of that special number. And I do pray for brothers and the sisters that believe, okay? So going back to Psalms 94, right? It says, I'm going to read verse 3 again. It says, Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? How long shall they utter and speak hard things? And all the workers of iniquity boast themselves. Okay? They break in pieces thy people, O Yahweh, and afflict thine inheritance. They slay the widow and the stranger and murder the fatherless. Yet they say, the Lord shall not see, neither shall the power of Jacob regard it. Understand, ye brutish ye brutish among the people and ye fools when will ye be wise he that planted the air shall he not hear he that formed the eye shall he not see he that chasteneth okay he that chasteneth chastiseth so lucky he that chastiseth the heathen shall not he correct he that teacheth man knowledge shall not he know the lord knoweth the thoughts of man that they are vanity blessed is the man whom thou chastenest O Yahweh, and teaches him out of thy law, that thou mayest give him rest from the days of adversity until the pit be digged for the wicked. For the Lord will not cast off his people, neither will he forsake his inheritance. inheritance. But judgment shall return unto righteousness, and all the upright in heart shall follow it. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? Unless the Lord had been my help, my soul had almost dwelt in silence. When I said, My foot slippeth, thy mercy, O Yahweh, held me up. In the multitude of my thoughts within, my, within me, thy comforts delight my soul. Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frame it mischief by a law? They gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. But the Lord is my defense and my power is the rock of my refuge and he shall bring upon them their own iniquity and shall cut them off in their own wickedness yea yahweh our power shall cut them off right the lord is going to cut them off man okay the lord is going to cut them off man at the end of the day right because what they're doing they 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 they, they doing continual wickedness the scriptures say uh uh uh, uh they just do it um uh Exceeding wickedness, man. Okay, when you read, uh, 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 what's that? Second Ezra chapter 15, I think of that, uh, the fifth verse, where it says, uh, it says, Behold, said the Lord, I will bring plagues upon the whole world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction, for wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, right? And their hurtful works are fulfilled. Okay. Therefore said the Lord, I will hold my tongue no more as touching their wickedness, which they profanely commit. Neither will I suffer them in those things in which they wickedly exercise themselves. Behold, the innocent and righteous blood cried unto me, and the souls of the just complain continually. Okay. Therefore said the Lord, I will surely avenge them and receive unto me all the innocent blood from among them. Okay. It says, Behold, my people is led as a flock to the slaughter. I will not suffer them now to dwell in the land of Egypt. Okay, but I will bring them with a mighty hand and a stretched out arm and smite Egypt with plagues as before and I will destroy the land thereof. Okay, so hey, ain't gonna be no picnic, man. It says, Egypt shall mourn and the foundation, foundation of it shall be smitten with the plague and punishment that the Most High shall bring upon it. They that till the ground shall mourn for their seeds shall fail through the blasting and the hail and with a fearful constellation, okay? So the Lord is not playing around, man. It's just judgment time, okay? Judgment time, man. Wickedness has exceedingly polluted the earth, okay? I'm gonna get two more scriptures. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to, to. I'm gonna get ready to close it out. Let's go to Revelation, okay? Because you're gonna find that the prophets are gonna stand up, man. Who, who's gonna stand up? Lord, so who's gonna stand up for me against the workers of iniquity, man? Okay, Revelation chapter 11, right, and verse 18. It says, And the nations were angry, and thy wrath is come, and the time of the dead, that they should be judged, and that thou shouldest give reward unto thy servants, the prophets, right? Because the prophets are standing up, to the, and to the saints, and to them that fear thy name, small and great, and shouldest destroy them which destroy the earth. 
Okay? Should just destroy them, which destroy the earth, man. Okay? Jump down from there. Go back to, uh, one, one chapter over, Revelation chapter 10 and verse 7. It says, But in the days of the voice of the seventh angel, when he shall begin to sound, the mystery of the Most High should be finished as he had declared to his servants, the prophets. So, the Most High declare his secrets to his servants, the prophets, man. Okay? And the prophets are standing up. Okay? In the face of adversity, making their bodies a living sacrifice. Okay? Standing up against the evildoers, man. Okay? So, at the end of the day, Lord willing, you were edified. I'm off the end of there. On to the next one. Shalom.